Just to bring in a, like, a little extra money alongside of my normal 9 to 5 paycheck. A little backstory. About two weeks ago, I actually downloaded the Instacart Shopper app. And I filled out all of the information, allowed them to do a background check, a NVR or um, moving vehicle report, and get all of my information to get approved to do Instacart shopping as, or as you would a real job. After I downloaded the app, um, it took maybe a week. I don't even think that long, but it took a couple days for everything to come back clear. And they sent me an actual shopper card in the mail. Um, in addition to that shopper card, I, I was also able to link my shopper's card to my Apple wallet, which is how sometimes I pay for the order. Today I want to take you guys on a virtual trip with me just so you guys can see how easy it is to shop and make extra money. Uh, if you do have a job right now and you just want a little extra money, if you don't have a job right now and you're actually needing some income, I want to show you guys how easy it is, how simple it is, how quick it can be. Just keep on watching. So guys, as you can see here, this is what the app looks like whenever you first begin to open it. And there is a option at the top. It shows you the available batches. So here you can see there's 18 available batches for this particular day. So you can go to the top and you can click on where it shows you the amount of batches that are available for that day and time. And you can scroll through to see how much the batch is paying, the amount of items, the amount of units, the store location, how many miles from where the store is to the delivery location and you can actually scroll through and see the items that they want and the quantity of the items that they want. The app also shows you a ping of where you are on the map, the store and the places where you will be delivering if you're delivering to more than one place which is what you see there. I like to go through and scroll to see the First of all, the amount that the batch is paying, um, how far it is from me, how far it is from the store, and how many full service orders it is. Sometimes instead of it saying one full service order, it would say two or sometimes three, like you see here for 2287, which means you're delivering to three different people, but you only go to the store one time and grab everything. So personally, what I like to do is I like to scroll through to see what order I want to take. I personally don't like to take any orders less than $20. Um, I kind of look at it like if I take an order that's $20 or more and I get everything done in an hour, including driving to the store, getting all of the groceries and delivering them, I look at it like I made $20 for that hour. So i would scroll through to see which order I want to take um, and then once I'm ready to actually take the order or um, accept the badge, you'll want to slide to accept the order like shown on the previous screen and head to the store. Now let's pause for a second. If you guys plan on doing Instacart, please, 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 please. The first thing you need to do is charge your phone like to 100% because the app uses your location as you're shopping, so you'll want to make sure you're at 100% so your battery doesn't get drained and die while you're in the middle of getting someone's groceries. So you see here they want eggs and they want the Lime Maid Concentrate from Minute Maid. Those are their priority items that they really, really want. So on this particular day, they actually did not have the Lime Maid Concentrate that he wanted. Typically, you would scan for a replacement, maybe a store-bought brand. 
but they actually didn't have a replacement at all. So what I needed to do before refunding him, I needed to actually ask him like, hey, would you like me to exchange this for a different kind or another item? Before refunding him and while I wait for his response, I'm going to go shop around the store and see what else I can find that's on his list and available. As you can see here, I've made it to the egg section. These weren't available either. So I had to scan the eggs that actually were available as a replacement. So you literally open the card and check the eggs to make sure they're not broken, find the barcode, Scan it with your phone, enter the quantities, and add it to your cart. It's literally that easy. And you can see Adam responded back and said, no worries on the limeade. So I'm going to go back to the limeade and I'm going to refund him. Ask for the reason why. You can either click customer requested refund or no adequate replacement. Now that that's taken care of and it's notified me at the bottom that the item was refunded back to the customer, I'm going to head to the produce section and get all of the produce that I need. Now here I thought I found the organic strawberries that he was looking for, but by the time I scanned it, it alerted me that it was wrong. The strawberries I found were California Giant Berry Farms organic strawberries, but I guess it just wanted, he just requested the store brand. So I went back and I found them as a replacement. I scanned those as a replacement, added the quantities, and then I added them to my cart. Now on some produce, you will actually have to go through and enter the weight, just like on this broccoli. But as I've showed you, you literally want to go through and do these steps to every item that they have on the list. As you scan each item, you will notice that the number at the top, uh, on the top left hand side of your to-do list will decrease if you change an item or replace an item, the column in the middle, which is listed as in review, will either increase or decrease as the customer approves the changes and then the number at the end, which is your done column, will increase each and every time you scan an item. On this particular order, he asked if I can add cookie dough and I would if I could, but I couldn't because it was unavailable at the time. So I didn't show this here in the video, but there is a way that you can scroll to the bottom of your batch and it gives you the option to add an item uh, per the customer's request. Okay, now that we've made it to our last item, all we have to do is scan it, enter the quantity, and then head to checkout. Once you reach the checkout, you want to alert the cashier first that you have an Instacart order so that they can scan the necessary barcodes and reward cards. Once all the items are scanned and if you've either paid with your Instacart card or Apple Pay, you want to bag everything up and head for delivery to the customer. Also, another thing you want to do is make sure that all of the cold items are staying together, the bread staying together, and the eggs are secured so they won't be broken in transit. Now, these are clips from different stores and different batches that I've done over the last seven days. But as of today, I've made $534.10. And this is just extra income for me personally, but I know some people actually are without a job right now due to everything going on. You always want to make sure that you're being safe. If you do decide to do Instacart, you want to sanitize, you want to wear your mask, you want to make sure you're washing your hands thoroughly. Instacart did send out a message earlier this week about providing 
gloves, masks, hand sanitizer, and all of that good stuff. So if you guys are interested, if you have any more questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section below. I will also leave my referral link if you want to sign up and get some extra money during this time. And the screen is black, so I'm going to go. Thank you guys for watching. Again, questions and comments, leave them down below, and I'll catch you guys in my next one.